Good afternoon, everybody. This is the next step in our uh, Rowan Tower project and the hex beam. Today I'm going to uh, drill some holes in a mounting plate for the rotor, and I'll show you a couple segments of that and then try to explain uh, what I've got going on. All right, stand by for more. All right, we're all set up here. Um, located to, for the first hole. These holes are evenly spaced uh, uh, from center to center of hole is three inches, 320 thousandths. And we are ready to begin. Got the uh, uh, drill in there, uh, 260 thousandths diameter drill. That'll give me a little room for the uh, bolts to move a little bit for a little bit of fine adjustment. Um, Okay, I think we're ready to go. We'll have to start this up and, and adjust the uh, speed. Need to put it in high range. Holes are all drilled there. I'll deburr the holes and chamfer the edges a little bit and uh, fit it. Once all my fitting's done and I know that I have everything correct, I'll uh, paint the holes with a little bit of that galvanized painting, uh, uh, cold paint. So, okay, on to the next scene. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and uh, chamfer these holes and going to do it freehand on the drill press here. Just take a little bit to chamfer.
that'll do it. Clean it up, fit it, make sure I didn't make some kind of an error. Catch you a little bit later. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and we got to deburred now. We're going to go see if this uh, mates up with the bottom of the rotor and uh, see how I did. I'm going to take my bolts. There we go. Two are in. And our last one here. So the wool pattern matches up. And the rotor ought to be sitting on the marks that uh, I put on there while I was uh, uh, lining it up with the uh, uh, mast. So, anyway, I'll go out there now and clamp it to the mast and we will dry fit it there. And I think I left the holes oversized enough where I got a little bit of movement here for slight adjustment. So, anyhow, that is what we wanted. So, we'll give this a go. Okay, that's it for this one. All right, we got the uh, plate just setting on here. We're going to go ahead and tighten the bolts on the bottom of the plate to the uh, rotor. And then once we get those tight, we'll finish tightening up the the bolts here on the uh, mast. And then we'll get uh, put the U bolts in, and then uh, it should be all ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and put the U bolts in now, and uh, finish tightening all this up. In fact, I think I'll just finish tightening the mast up while I'm at it. There's no need putting that off. I machine the sleeve here out of aluminum on here because the uh, inch and 5 eighths diameter tube would have been too small and I would have uh, been off center on the rotor. I wanted it to be center. These don't have to be overly tight. All right, we're good to go there. So we'll come back and uh, tighten the bolts on the base there. This way, when I go to put my uh, U bolts on the base plate and clamp it to the tower, uh, it'll already be lined up with the rotor. And this is just a dry, dry fit here. We'll be taking it all apart, painting the base of that uh, plate the holes with uh, galvanized paint. Alright, got that snugged up. We'll be back with the U-bolts. Okay. You know, we put the last nut on the last U-bolt here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but these uh, nuts are been uh, swagged a little bit on the, each end which uh, compresses the first thread and that uh, kind of acts like a lock washer. So you got to put it on the correct way where the locking part of it is to the outside. And for that reason you can't just screw it on 
all the way with your finger you gotta use a wrench to do that right, here we go on the last one here There we go with that. All right, on to the next step. All right, well, I suppose just like any other kid, you can put your train set together. You gotta try it out. So let's give it a go, see if we have any issues. Here we go, all wired up, power's turned on, so we'll go ahead and turn the power on here. And we are now at the point where it's going to point east. Now, one thing, it doesn't really matter what orientation you put your rotor. All that matters is uh, where your, your uh, controller thinks that rotor is setting. And halfway between the stops, I have it set up to where it will be pointing uh, south. And so, uh, when I get ready to set my antenna on there, I'll make sure that I uh, face that south. So, we're going to go ahead and rotate. Okay, now when I put my uh, beam on there on it uh, I'll, I can loosen these two clamps up and rotate the, the shaft where the beam is, is rotating, rotating south and then just tighten those two clamps and then I'll be good to go. So let's see if we still got all the travel we want. I have it set up it'll hit the stops after uh, 90 degrees on either direction and uh, that way uh, I won't be bumping those stops all the time because most of my uh, direction will be uh, east and west and south and some north but uh, where I'm located I'm in north of the state so this will stop right up here right there and same way with the other direction kind of like watching paint dry. One thing I've noticed, uh, this base plate, I bought it from an outfit on Amazon. I don't remember the, the outfit, but uh, this base could have been made a little wider there. It's just, I had to bend the ears out just a little bit at the top to get it to uh, touch the uh, uh, tubes on there. So I, I think that the uh, they sh should have been uh, wider at the, uh, before they uh, bent it. So, but it'll work. All I got to do is snug them up. It doesn't have to be overly tight. So this should go uh, past uh, north uh, about 14 thousandths or, or uh, 14 degrees or so, I think, or a little less. They're out there somewhere it should stop. There we go. Alright. Now before I hook it, I'll uh, point it south. And like I said, when I get my uh, beam on there, I'll uh, 
rotate the uh, Uh, the the uh, mast, I'll rotate the mast uh, uh, to where my beam is uh, heading south and then I'll be good to go. And there we go. Alright, looks like it works. Thank you for watching.